so much. So, okay, Kelly, let's think about this for a second. We've got the tropics that are heating up. The mm -hmm. temperatures are also heating up. And as we prepare for some record highs this week, maybe you, yeah, you will be one of the thousands or millions of Americans traveling to a nearby water park to try to cool off. But before you head out of the door, we've got some quick safety tips, don't we? That's right. Joining us right now is Gene Petriello with Six Flags Whitewater Park near Atlanta. I've been there many times, Gene. I love that <laughs> park. Um, obviously, the water lines themselves are really the best ways to stay cool at an amusement park. But what about the people waiting in line for these rides? Yeah, as you're waiting in line, it's really important here that you, you know, find the shade throughout the parks when you walk through our Six Flags, either Hurricane Harbor, Whitewater, or other parks. We have lots of trees and shade structures in our parks. So definitely stay in the shade as much as you can. And, of course, you definitely need to make sure you hydrate when you're at the park. But here's a great tip. A lot of people plan what they're going to do when they come to the park days in advance. You need to plan to hydrate the day before you come to the park because sometimes if you hydrate just that day, it may be just too late. My gosh, with all the people, though, that are headed to your park, I mean, it's just going to be just a, a, a mad rush trying to get there to the water. What are some other things that, that not only individuals need to do, but moms and dads with a bunch of kids need to keep in mind? Definitely sunscreen. And when yeah. you go into one of our world class attractions like Dive Bomber behind us, 10 stories tall, 90 degree drop almost in less than 10 seconds, or our new Wahoo Racer, the world's tallest slide of its kind, you definitely want to make sure that when you get out of the water, really refreshing, but make sure you reapply that sunscreen because not all sunscreens are waterproof. So if you go in the water, that sunscreen may be gone. You don't put it back on, you may burn yourself. Also, you see today I'm wearing a light colored shirt. So that's really important too when you're in the park, wear a light colored, dry fit, water resistant shirt so that the water dries really quickly and keeps you cool throughout the day. Or just do what we do, you know, just walk around in your bathing suit, right? And, and those <laughs> waterproof right. things, you know, that you can put all your keys in one. But you have lockers for stuff like that too. We do. We have lockers in our Six Flags theme parks, like Six Flags over Georgia down the road here. We actually have fans and misters throughout the park. So when you walk around, you can keep cool. We also have great indoor rides. We have Monster Mansion here at Six Flags over Georgia. Other Six Flags parks have the award-winning Justice League Battle for Metropolis. You can go to a food location or see a show. So there's a lot of ways to keep cool when you come to our parks. And it's a great season that we're having so far. Okay, Gene, um, we're going to be over there in about 10 minutes. Yeah, we're, we're on our way. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're going to be there in just I'm a gonna... few. Sounds I'm going to go slide down here, so I'll see you in a few minutes, too. All right, bro, that's oh, a plan. Like fun. Thanks uh, so much. That was good advice. Thanks, that was yes. good stuff. All right, folks, we have so much more coming up on uh, yeah, our next hour.